Family members of British soldiers who died in Iraq were in court on Monday to sue the British government for negligence over claims that the army did not provide enough protection to the soldiers and that their deaths could have been prevented. Susan Smith, whose son died after coming under attack inside his vehicle in Iraq in 2005, was present at the court hearing to seek damages under the Human Rights Act. She believes her son was not given adequate equipment to fight in a war. The families here are angry at the Ministry of Defence for being negligent towards their own soldiers. They believe this type of negligence shouldn't go unpunished and they believe that this amounts to human rights abuses. A total of 179 British servicemen and women died after the invasion of Iraq in 2003. A few dozen died because of friendly fire or killed inside lightly armoured vehicles. The Ministry of Defence, however, say they should not be held responsible for these deaths. But with the first day of hearing at a close, the families of the dead soldiers hope their court battle will give some sort of justice to those army personnel who died in vain. I would like to see soldiers given the same rights as every other person in the country. You don't stop being a human being when you walk out of a gate. You're not some kind of subhuman. Human rights covers all people. The MOD keep, still keep making mistakes, not giving the right equipment. Uh, uh, MPs, generals, even when we were still in Iraq, were saying the Snatch Land Rover wasn't fit for purpose and nothing was done about it. Well, too little, too late, as usual. And by us doing this, it might save lives in the future. Who knows? Hopefully it will. Yeah. The snatch has stopped being used out on patrols, but it shouldn't have took the deaths of 38 men and women to make a difference. It should never have been in that situation in the first place. The Supreme Court in London will look into the case until Thursday, but a verdict will not be given this week. If the judges do find the Ministry of Defence guilty, the families of the dead soldiers would be entitled to launch damages claims at the High Court. Hassan Al-Khatib, Press TV, London.